Is Stormzy the king? Not for me. Right, why? I think Jay Huss is. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I'll tell you why. Go on. For me, there's many things that make you the king. And of course, sales is going to come into it. Um, you know, how many Our times... sales you, well, though. No, I'm just saying, set, this is what I'm saying. sales mm-hmm. comes into it. People are going to talk about, okay, you, how many times you sold out the O2, the festivals you've headlined, how much you've transcended abroad. All of these are definitely, definitely part of the conversation. But for me... If you can do, if you can be someone like Jay Huss, right, who has the ability to sing and rap equally as well, make hits, but give you the deep songs. But that's just that's just one thing. The other thing for me is what makes Jay Huss the greatest for me is he doesn't need to do any of these things. He doesn't need to collaborate with anyone. He doesn't need to have loads of people in his video. He doesn't need to do any of that. Big Conspiracy came out two years ago. It still doesn't even have a music video Mm. for one song on the project. Mm. The project has two features, Mm. Coffee and Burner Boy. No one in our scene and his sister, three. One is his sister, I don't even really count that. Didn't shoot a music video, went straight to number one. Mm. We don't even have a music video now. To me, that is a man that just lets music do the talking and the people get behind it. I feel like every other artist in our scene, every other artist in our scene, every single one of them has to make a music video for their project if it comes out, has to collaborate with another big person in our scene to make the noise and get it up and do that. They can't do what Jay Huss does. It's impossible. Dave can. Kano can. No, he can't. No, he can't. Kano can't. And whether Dave can or can't, he hasn't. You're right. Because the last album, he went and got the other big person in the scene, which is Stormzy. Right. And they went and made one of the coldest songs. Hmm. Shot in Aston Martin factory. Absolutely. It was just a big flex. The song was a flex. The beat was a f- Everything was a flex. Yeah. I know. I hear that. But Can man do what Jay Huss did and just go, there's nothing. I don't need no features. I don't need the bells and whistles. I don't need none of that. Here's the album, it's got a black album cover, like I'm like, did it before Donda, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Here, there you go. Do I? Not one music video, went number one. Who can do it? You're telling me Dave can do it. I I'm can't. not saying he can't. No, 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 no you, I'm I, saying I, I need the to see is- it. Good morning, me. Welcome back to another lovely, beautiful, sexy, amazing video. The equally lovely, equally beautiful, equally sexy, and equally amazing lit. I already know what time it is. Now let's go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now, guys, today we're going to be discussing the recent podcast clip with Chucky Online and Craig Mitch, where Craig claims that Jay Huss is the current king of of the UK rap scene. As, no, I, I promise, like, and even, even... And we're going to break this down in way more detail. We already know what you got to do. You just got to like, comment, subscribe. So if not, brother, banger like this one and hit that note because you ain't in the east. You can be the first to know when one of these videos comes out. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, if you didn't already know, a clip from the Chucky Online podcast has been circulating around the internet where Chucky and Craig Mitch have been discussing who is the king of the UK rap scene. Craig goes on to say that he feels that Jay Huss is the king of the UK rap scene for the following reasons. Take a look at this clip. The thing for me is what makes Jay Huss the greatest for me is he doesn't need to do any of these things. He doesn't need to collaborate with anyone. He doesn't need to have loads of people in his video. He doesn't need to do any of that. Big Conspiracy came out two years ago. It still doesn't even have a music video Mm. for one song on the project. Mm. The project has two features, Mm. Coffee and Burner Boy. No one in our scene and his sister, three. One is his sister, I don't even really count that. Didn't shoot a music video, went straight to number one. Mm. We don't even have a music video now. To me, that is a man that just lets music do the talking and the people get behind it. I won't lie to you guys, Craig was making some very interesting points here, but as always, I have to fact check the effery. There's a lot of effery in some of the things he was saying. First things first, everything he's saying is kind of null and void at the moment because all the things that he's describing about Jay Huss and, all, and his accomplishments have only been done once. 
all the stuff about not needing UK features, and we'll get into that later, you know, not needing to make music videos and just letting the music speak for itself and still going number one, all of that stuff. J Huss only did that with the release of Big Conspiracy. So can we really say that that's what Huss is on when we haven't seen him replicate that success? I think not. I can say Drake has the ability to drop a song and it just goes number one because he's done it multiple times. And I'd argue that he only got away with doing all the aforementioned things on Big Conspiracy like not making music videos and whatnot because one, his last album was amazing so the follow-up album is of course highly anticipated and secondly, he did still have a lot of hype leading up to this project. He of course came out of prison and on the same day of him coming out of prison, Drake brought him out at the O2, he had a Daily Duppy album, out. he got mentioned by Dave in Top Boy and he dropped two singles prior to the album's release so yeah he didn't drop any music videos per se but he definitely had a big push to gain buzz for the album it's not like he just woke up dropped the album went back to sleep and it went number one like there's a bit there's a bit more layers to it than that yeah that's true now let's go back to my nigga on the floor. Secondly, the whole point about him not needing any features is also null and void because yes, he didn't get any features from the UK on Big Conspiracy. However, the features that he did have on the album well, we can just break them down right here. The first one was Burner Boy, and in 2019, Burner Boy was hotter than he'd ever been. I know the album dropped in 2020, but it was January 2020, so I have to base it on the year before. Burner Boy just dropped African Giant. He had the UK in a chokehold with Location and with Own It with him, Stormzy, and Ed Sheeran. So that's not exactly a feature to snooze at. LMA just came a first success with Booed Up, so a useful feature in that aspect. And then Coffee, who had been running the year with that Toast song and that W song with Gunna. So again, another feature not to snooze at. So the idea that J Huss didn't need any features for this kind of success is a bit ludicrous because the highest charting songs on the album were the ones with the features outside of of course must be which charted at number five but that was the lead single to the album so of course it was naturally gonna do well it was j huss's comeback song basically but yeah repeat with coffee charted at 21 and play play with burner boy charted at number 11 so again to say that he didn't need features is just kind of asinine if he dropped an album with no features then that's a different story. But just because they're not UK features doesn't mean they're still not valuable features. Plus, when you're a, a UK artist of J Huss's caliber, I don't think you necessarily need another slew of UK artists to appeal to the UK audience per se. I think once you're at that point, people are going to listen whether you got UK artists on or not. I just like Chucky then mentioned how all the things that he was talking about J Huss doing that Dave could do as well. Although that is true, Craig mentioned that when it was Dave's album rollout, he had to get Stormzy to do Clash and make a big flex song. He didn't do what Huss did. And that's facts, no now again, I have to point out that I don't necessarily think that these artists have to do this. Dave doesn't have to make a big music video. He doesn't have to get Stormzy. It's more so, it's just a natural part of the rollout. That's just the way the music industry works. People want to put their project in the most optimal chance of success. And the way that you do that is by dropping music videos, is by featuring with big artist at the time. And if you want to compare it to J Huss, well, J Huss was doing these exact same tactics way back when as well. When he, he, when he dropped Common Sense, he dropped the Did You See video, he had the Spirit video, he had the Buff Daddy video, he even had the Common Sense video. He had Mo Stack on that album, he had Mist, he had Tiggs the Author. The Huss definitely wasn't short of UK features on that last album. For all we know, he might have just couldn't be bothered. He might have just been like, yeah, I can't be bothered to call all these people. I can't be bothered to do this. Let's just drop of course, the question of this video is, is Stormzy the king or is Jay Huss the king? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And honestly, as Craig said in the video, that is a multifaceted argument. I think personally, Jay Huss makes way better music than Stormzy. Stormzy has kind of jumped the shark a little bit with his music. He's gone a bit too far over to the pop side and the singing side. And it's not like a cool Jay Huss singing. It's a kind of uncanny valley level of singing started from the bottom now like he's trying to do a bit of an elton john thing and it's just it's just not hitting stormzy i'm sorry i'm sorry Storms. i'm sorry michael it's just not working i'm sorry i'm sorry 
J Haas definitely has a better musical discography in comparison to Stormzy as well. Of course, they both had great first albums. I think J Haas's is by far the superior when and then when it comes to their second albums, both of their second albums kind of didn't live up to their predecessor. Both still good, but both still not as good as what came before. I think Big Conspiracy is probably better than Heavy Is The Head. I haven't listened to both of those albums in a very long time, so I actually do need to do that, and that can give you guys a proper analysis. But based on what I remember, I think Big Conspiracy is slightly better. But not by much, though, but slightly better. But if we're talking numbers and sales, well, Stormzy has two number one albums. He has three number one singles, whereas J Huss has one number one album and no number one single. So in that aspect, Stormzy, of course, doo-doo's on him. If we look at festival headlines, Stormzy's done Glastonbury, he's done Wireless, he's done Reading, he's done a bunch of different festivals, and he's claiming that he gets paid at least a mil for a headline. Whereas Jay Huss, as far as I'm aware, he's only headlined Lovebox Festival, and I think he headlined Wireless in 2019 because someone dropped out. Maybe it was Uzi, someone like that. Yeah, it do not matter. And I don't think he got paid a meal for that, I can't lie, so. <laughs> And you know, if you want to talk the streets, I think the streets are rating Jay Huss's thing way more than they're rating Stormzy's thing right now. Let's just keep it a buck. So it's really a very multifaceted, multi-layered question. But men lie, women lie, but their numbers don't lie. So if I was Stormzy and Huss was trying to say that he's the king, I'd be thinking, hey, look, man, you ain't even got a number one tune yet. You've only had a number one album. You need to relax. But then if I was Jay Huss... I could say, well, you've been duck, duck, goose and chipmunk. And then Dave might have to come in and break it up because it might just turn into an all out revolt. <laughs> but that's another story for another day. Well, that's a perfect segue onto my next point, because we'll really find out who's the king when we compare their third albums. Both have taken a big hiatus from music at around roughly the same time, because I think Heavy as the Head came out in like november if i'm not mistaken november 2019 and um big conspiracy came out january 2020 so yeah they took a break at roughly the same time both have been doing features here and there but not like a full body of work per se so when they drop their next albums if jay huss is extract is expected to drop in the near future i believe stormzy's dropping in november so we're gonna hear his music very soon but when they do finally drop we can compare album sales album quality and album success and they've both given us two full bodies of work now. So there's literally no excuses when it comes to your third project. So I feel like if they both go number one and if they both get a number one single from the album, then which I'm sure they probably will, that pushes the numbers side out of the way. And then we can focus on it will just be down to the album quality, which if I had to put my money on whose album is going to be better, I'm putting all my chips on j Huss still. But... If we're talking the current king, I have to put Stormzy over Huss at this moment in time, based on the reasons previously described. But in the words of anyone, it's a bit of a sticky one still. Let me know if you think about this in the comment section down below. What do you think? Who is the king of the UK rap scene? Is it Stormzy? Is it J Huss? Is it Kano? Bonkers. That's the guy in the video said. Is it Dave? Is it Young Ads? Is it... Rimsy, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You're a donut! You're so stupid! You're so stupid! You're stupid! Dumb! You let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, but on the road to 2,000 subs, you already know what time is. You can follow my personal IG at the only lit TNT. If you care about what I do, I'm not making these bangers for you. I post updates on Twitter as well, so you might as well follow me on there because what else are you doing for your life? Absolutely nothing, mate. Stay black, and if you're not black, stay whatever race you are. I bet. Oh, you ain't know I can sing.